Reigning Heisman winner Caleb Williams back for an encore in 2023. Hungrier than ever to get USC back to Vegas. The Trojans playing their annual rivalry game against Notre Dame in South Bend October 14th. That will come in the midst of a nine-week stretch without a bye. More on that in a moment. And right after they play the Irish, USC comes home for a rematch of the Pac-12 championship game. Utah coming to the Coliseum October 21st. Boy, that is going to be a good time. Trojans trying to snap a three-game losing skid to the Utes as we take a look at USC's full 2023 schedule, which includes a week zero game August 26th against San Jose State. So, Yogi, by virtue of that game, the Trojans have two buys, one coming early in week three, and if they were to make it back to the title, they would have a buy leading into the Pac-12 championship game. Yeah, and I think that you can look at it both ways and say, oh my God, they have a buy if they do go to the title game advantage USC, but also who wants to have this stretch of nine straight games as your reference? No, by the way, Utah at Cal, trap game. UW at Oregon, UCLA. I mean, this is not an easy walk by any stretch of the imagination. Remember, the rotation is changing this year, so they get to face UW and Oregon, which I know a lot of Pac-12 fans have wanted that matchup. You get that in the end of the season. But my eyes go to right before Notre Dame. They play Arizona. And last year, Arizona had 543 yards of offense. And there's been a lot of talk around USC and defense. They've had a bunch of additions from high school and of the transfer portal. And I think when you look at the first half of their schedule as of today, for what we know, it's the best offense they're going to face. Oh, by the way, Dorian Singer is now playing for USC. So I, I go to that game as one where I can't wait to watch what this defense is. And then I think on like the, the micro level, I can't wait to talk to Lincoln Riley about how, how do you manage workload now, right? What is your true competitive depth like to go through the gauntlet of nine straight? Like, do you adjust training camp? Do you just say, no, we're just going to ride here? Do you adjust practice in the season? I mean, most teams adjust in November. Well, they adjust in October for the wear and tear that is natural on the bodies of college football players. So there's a lot I'm sure that he's already thought through. You know, he, he noted earlier that he had 600 pages of notes after year one at USC. Usually it's two or 300. I'm curious how many he's going to have in the offseason getting ready for a nine-game stretch that they're going to have to finish it off. And we should mention uh, the two conference teams, they will not play Washington State and Oregon State. That's who the Trojans miss. USC, obviously, their, their season was incredible, but didn't end the way that they wanted to. Back-to-back -back losses in the championship game and then against Tulane in the Cotton Bowl. So wh where do you think mentally the offseason like what's the first thing that Lincoln Riley has taken a close hard look at well I think that they're really hungry I think Lincoln Riley been there done that like he's he's gotten teams to the playoff before he understands the criticism he knows the chair that he's in at USC as does Alex Grinch as does Caleb Williams he talked about wanting a seat at the table they all have a seat at one of the more premier tables in college football history and they know the standard there and especially after what they did a year ago being on the doorstep of the playoffs. so that's the standard that's the goal. And, and I'd imagine in the basement of, you know, the John McKay Center, in their weight room, they're getting after, just like every team in the country right now, knowing that they fell short of their goal and definitely didn't finish in the style in which they wanted to. But this thing is trending up. I mean, they got some of the top players in the country already in this early signing period. They're adding them in the transfer portal, and I doubt they're done. And most of them are on the defensive front, at least immediate impact players, especially in the portal. So I, I look forward to watching it. But I'll tell you what, this stretch is not easy because you can't slip up. ASU, Colorado, reference Arizona, then Notre Dame, Utah, Cal is going to be better, UW, Oregon. UC, I mean, it is going to be earned if they find their way back to Vegas. Yeah, I I've got that Week 10 matchup against the Huskies circled. First time that those two will play since 2019.